graph. And over here, you can see it explicitly in the form of the delta G. This is the um, the energy status of the electrodes at different states. NADH is a very high energy molecule uh, relative to oxygen, where we we'll put oxygen at zero. It's about uh, 200 plus kilojoules per mole above the level of oxygen. So that's maybe the place to start. Think of it just like any other energy reaction. Uh, energy. Uh, Using for energy, um, downhill energetic reaction we've seen, where a high energy substrate heads in this direction of lower energy. And ADH is higher energy than the flavin and the cytochromes and so on. So electrons will flow in this direction to oxygen energetically downhill. On the left hand y axis, you see another way of expressing it. You could express it either as skips free energy or as volts, because we're talking about energy in the form of electrons, and you all know about voltage being a form of power, too. You know, a 12-volt battery is stronger than a, a 1-volt little flashlight battery, and a 110-volt in the wall that is more powerful than the 12-volt collar battery, and if you got really high-voltage stuff, like 210-voltage to drive heavy equipment, that's a lot of power. So more voltage is the same as more energy. And in the world of redox chemistry, uh, zero is kind of the midpoint. Uh, negative numbers are more reductive, higher energy, reducing power. Positive numbers are uh, less energetic. So these electrons are starting out around minus 0.32 volts, and they're headed towards oxygen, which is positive 0.8. So there's a big voltage drop, basically, that these electrons are following. So what would, what would be the 